What up boys and welcome back to another Wrath of the Lich King pre-patch video. So in today's video we're looking at a farm that has uh, changed. It's still the same item but it changed now with the pre-patch for Wrath of the Lich King. And before we go into the details, massive thank you to every single one of you guys who have picked up the complete gold guide for Wrath of the Lich King. It's basically a book that features all of the best gold farms in the expansion. And the coolest thing about it is the fact that it gets constantly updated. And as uh, long as you've bought the book, you'll receive all the updates for free. And you guys have been insane. So thank you all so much for picking it up and the massive feedback on it. It really does mean the world to me. And we're doing this sale where you can get it for only $9.90 by using code SALE, which lasts until uh, Wrath of the Lich King is out, pretty much. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be linked down below in description and pinned comments. So the item that we're looking at for right now, I made a video about it a couple of weeks back, and it's uh, this bad boy right here. Formula for an Enchant Weapon Crusader. Right now, they're like 100 gold plus. When I made a video about it, you could only farm them in the tower in uh, VPL, like right up here. So right now, they're not as much gold, like they're worth less gold. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing because now in pre-patch, there is a ton of people playing the game. There's a ton of people picking up enchanting and all the other professions again. So you have a lot more potential buyers and... It's way easier to obtain because it can now drop from all of the arc mages uh, that I just killed instead of just those couple of mobs that spawns like every five minutes or so. So right now you guys can head over to Sand, this area right down here. And I would advise you to just kill all the mobs because like obviously we're level 70 now. They die pretty easily and you want to kill the other mobs so they have a chance at respawning as an arc mage. But it's only the Archmage that can drop the, the formula for the Crusader pattern. And you'll even make some gold while you're at it. Because the mobs, they drop like anywhere from 10 silver to like 25 silver each. It's not a lot of gold, don't get me wrong. But they also give you rune cloth, the occasional green items, blue items. Hey, if you're lucky enough, you can even get epic items as well. So I think it's a super nice item to just constantly have up on the auction house. I would advise you to grind out at least two of them, so you don't have to go back until you've sold at least one of them, if that makes sense. So it's not like you, you farm it, you go back to Iron Forge, put it up on the auction house, and then it sells 10 minutes later and you gotta go and restock and buy a new one, right? So it's a super solid farm at 100 gold each. You really don't need to get that many and sell that many uh, for the gold per hour to be relatively decent. So I just thought that I would let you guys know, since you can now get it in an alternative place, and the video that I made is still getting some views. So there might be some people who's still camping at the tower. Poor souls. Uh, when they can just get it uh, from these arc mages right here. Uh, but that was pretty much it. So if you guys want to see more videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. So you guys can kind of get ahead of the, the herd, right? You want to watch these videos as fast as they come out. So... Uh, if you watch them like the next day, you go to the location and it's swarming with people. No bueno. That's it for today though. Guys, thank you all so much for watching the video as always. And I will see you all back for tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.